It's my feel good birthday show. Welcome to a brand new week. You are tuned in live to Expresso after a very busy sporting weekend, certainly on local shores. Sun City playing host to South Africa's biggest golfing competition. We call it Africa's Major, the NetBank Golf Challenge. And of course, Swedish golfer Alex Norin absolutely dominating, especially that final day's play. A couple of South Africans in the mix, but ultimately a European invasion. And joining us on the line now is golfing journalist Michael Flismas, who didn't call this one. Michael, a very good morning. How are you, sir? I'm, I'm well in you, Graham. I'm very good. That, is that a flabbergasted laugh I hear this morning? What do you make <laughs> of the tournament? Before we get into Alex's unbelievable final day, give us an overview of the Ned Bank Golf Challenge 2016. Well, I think it, it's always surprising when the day you um, win a, a, you know, try and at the Gary Player Country Club because it is such a difficult course to win that first time out. And, and that's why you would have thought the players who had experience there were going to be near the top. Henrik Stenson didn't really come to the fore. Louis Westphalen couldn't get anything going on the, on the weekend, really. And uh, Alex Noren really did exactly what he needed to do. He, he, and, and he's by no means a, a rookie at this level. Uh, he's a four-time winner now on the European Tour. So I think it was a great champion because he is a great golfer. He's probably the hottest golfer in the world this year. And uh, it, it was a great champion for this new era of uh, the Medbank Golf Challenge. And I think South African golf fans got to see the depth that is out on the European Tour and they saw names and players they wouldn't normally see. So I think in that sense, the expanded field was a great success. I think a lot of South African golfers there dying to play the Gary Player golf course. What tips can you give them? What did Alex get right when you say that he, he almost had a perfect round, certainly on that final day? What was he getting right that the other golfers couldn't? Well, he was putting superbly. His putting was unbelievable. And, and, and to putt well, yeah, you have to put yourself in the right positions on these greens because they are very small. They've got um, those clover shapes so they can stick the pins in all uh, sneaky little corners and make it really difficult. So, so to do that, you've got to come into those greens properly, which means you've got to be on the fairway. So you work your way back. That means your driving's got to be good as well. And he's ticked all of those boxes this week. He really has. And, uh, and I think that's exactly... What, uh, what helped him. He was, he was just very, very solid. He had the one round where it didn't come right for him and, uh, and he was frustrated by that and, uh, and prepared himself mentally in his room before he went out in the final round and said, you've got to believe that you can win this. So, uh, so yeah, I think the, the, the putting at the end of the day and, uh, and his driving was, was, was key. Yeah, and I think maybe that lit the fire that he needed to get him across the line. Then what did you make of the South Africans' home ground advantage? A couple of um, SA stars in the mix who impressed you? I think, uh, you know, Brandon Grace was once again knocking on that door. And I think, you know, he's just, he, 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 he's a player who learns his lessons he, he, and, and he, he won't be happy with that bogey on 18, yeah. um, you know, because he wanted that sole third place. But um, he just gets better and better for me and, and, and keeps maturing so well. Uh, as a professional. So, you know, I think he is one that is going to win it in the future. Um, Louis Westhaven, just there was, the putting just, just wasn't working for him. And, uh, and those closing holes just, uh, you know, really got him on, on, on the weekend. So uh, he, he'll be disappointed that he didn't close out like he did. I thought he was ready to do that when he hit it so close on 16 on Saturday. And I thought, here we go. And he made that birdie, but then 17 and 18 bogeyed. And I think he took that. That, those negative feelings into the final round with him. Yaku van Sale, a really, uh, you know, I think he wanted to finish well this year after what happened last year in the final round when he fell out the bus a little bit with that performance. He wanted to prove that, that it wasn't too big a stage for him. And I think he had a very credible performance as a result. Well, I think congratulations to the organisers. Um, certainly warranted a fantastic tournament and a greater open field. Uh, Michael, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I hope it's not an entire year before we connect with you again. Um, we'd love to have you in studio, but thank you for, for bringing us up to speed. It's a great pleasure, and thank you. Awesome stuff, Michael Fitzsmith, joining us from Sun City, um, where we saw Alex Noren, of course, taking the record-breaking prize package at this year's Nedbank Golf Challenge.